Good morning, everybody. It is coffee time, Sunday, August 12, 2018. And good morning to all of you. And good morning, Missy Jen. Nice good to see you. Good morning to all of you. And good morning to Rosie. As usual, hopefully, Missy Jen, we're gonna be a little bit. Uh, we're gonna be a little bit cooler today. Um, the last couple of days have really been crispy here yes. and uh, humid but I think maybe that broke off last night I'm not sure I'm kind of hoping uh, today because we're not really too much equipped to deal with uh, to deal with the heat and everything but uh, let's get to it for coffee time Sunday the topic that a lot of people have wanted to discuss and I've gotten a lot of people have uh, emailed me uh, about getting the channel back the Rosie O'Kelly channel here and uh, how easy it is or how hard it is and um, I want to refer people to that three-part series that I that I did again some people have contacted me about uh, getting channels back from years ago and you can tell them the bad news beyond one year beyond one year they'll delete your videos if beyond one year YouTube just deletes your uh, your uh, content on the theory that uh, you haven't worked to get it back you don't care to get it back or they don't care to have you back one of those three choices so for older channels that have been terminated beyond a year it's uh, as far as I know I've never seen one restored you have one year to make hay yeah. Otherwise, you're you're pretty much uh, out of uh, out of it. The uh, the good news is the terms. Uh, I think more and more people are comfortable, Missy Jen, with. They may not agree with the terms of YouTube, but more and more people have come to terms with the terms of YouTube and what that means in terms of uh, running uh, running channels and the things that you do and the things that you can't do. They're still doing a weeding out process. And there's some people that get very confused about uh, personal personal expressions of being yourself. In other words, me uh, running a channel and doing the things I want to do, whether it's bikinis outside or laughing or having fun, versus <clears throat> versus things that some people are very upset about, like removing Alex Jones's info wars and some other things. Some people scratch their head and they can't understand that. About that, but I don't know all the intricacies of YouTube. But I do know that it is, it is founded and cited in the San Francisco Bay Area. So there's a natural inclination for people that work down there to be of a more liberal bent. You know, if it was situated in El Paso, Texas, or, you know, what you say, Mississippi, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, it might be a totally different story. It might be the most conservative and uh, you know rock rib straight back uh, video sharing service on planet Earth, but in a way, I feel like the diversity and the freedom that YouTube allows in personal expressions gives a more colorful palette. You don't have all of the you don't have all the sameness of uh, thought, which is one of the things that I really don't like about today's age and all of the splintering of uh, social media is people seek out the things that they want to hear now and the reinforcing media messages that they want to hear and increasingly they shut out the uh, messages the other what would you call it counter programming and things so the alternative the alternative so they be the alternative to them so it becomes a self-reinforcing uh, process to hear the things that you want to hear and see the things that you want to hear and reinforce your own personal philosophy. And of course, Missy Jen, YouTube's perfect at feeding that because keywords and other things, they're going to put into your feed new suggestions of videos and you look at that. So not surprisingly this tendency to reinforce what we want to see and hear versus what is out there. The totality of it has led to a lot of those uh, a lot of those difficulties and this is why I think things like Alex Jones 
get terminated because it's the same message over and over. Everything is conspiracy. Uh, everything is the uh, government. Uh, government it worked the wrong way, and, and everything's not like that. Yeah, there's a certain amount of conspiracy in the government. There's a certain amount of long-range goals that I think that they want to have for society, but on a short-term basis, you know, think of the way that people people sit at the uh, table of Alex Jones and they take that information in and they start to take that as gospel when the reality could be something far different just like the left you know uh, channels like democracy now with Amy Goodman on the left hand end of the spectrum the very liberal and uh, radical socialist side is the same sort of thing that uh, they would have you believe that everybody that has more than a few dollars in their pocket is a bad person. And there's some agenda in the government that seeks to hold poor people down and uh, you know prohibit them from having a way out. And we know that that's not true. We live in America. And if you want to pull yourself up, yeah, it's not going to be easy. But it, the opportunity is there is versus other countries where corruption is so bright, you have to pay off everybody for everything to get licenses, to get uh, abilities to do certain things, to get jobs. It's all payola and all that. We don't have that type of uh, situation here. So there's less excuses. So it's just a roundabout way of saying that I think YouTube recognizes now some of the weaknesses of their platform is this is this constant feeding in of what people want to see and hear as opposed to what the real truth is and I see this in microcosm on places like YouTube and when I grew up in the old days Missy Jen if you were the Republicans and the Democrats were able to at least get along and be more functional with each other and they were more gentlemanly and uh, uh, ladylike in their dealings with each other and they tried to keep a little bit of a more open mind and it was easier to swing people from one side to the other on particular issues and we see now that you know people are so polarized in two different uh, two different camps in the world and it just seems like we can hardly come together uh, with those issues so it all has to do with that fragmentation of uh, media and seeking out the message. Remember in the old days we had ABC, CBS, and NBC and that was it. And they were all considered liberal uh, feeding stations, but they at least attempted to, I think, tell a more objective story and uh, everybody was drawing from the same media sources, so we didn't have this, we didn't have this wide spreading of uh, what I would call dissent and unhappiness in this uh, in this nation. Just one of the things I've observed over uh, 40 years in media. So that's uh, that's YouTube. Yeah, I'm glad to be back on YouTube to have the channel back. Uh, it's going to take, as anything has been gone for a while and pulled out of the stream, it's going to take six months to get it back to what it was. For all those uh, deep videos, the thousands of videos to go back into the searches and to start to find their way. It takes a long time, you know, it was a very deep channel. You know, superficially on a daily basis, it's not much, but what you don't see behind the scenes is people looking at videos from five and a half, four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, one year ago. Playlists go more and all that. Missy Jen, let's talk about Missy Jen for a uh, <clears throat> for a bit here or two. And if you're one of the people that has MS, feel free to contact Jen at the uh, Gmail, Jen and Rosie Reality TV at gmail.com. Is it Trans Girls Reality TV? Yeah, I think that's it. Yes. Trans Girls Reality TV. If you have any questions at gmail.com gmail about the Acrevis. We have a friend of ours, Andrea, up in Michigan that's uh, really tried very hard to get onto the uh, Ocrevus and things. So it's for multiple, for, uh, for MS. Uh, anything you want to add on that, Jen? You've had some good results on that. We're not talking about a miracle cure, but there's some marginal fight back. Of, uh, it, uh, 
with the second with the second now full infusion I have a up right now I'm on a kind of a, like a down slope it's it's like it's wearing off a little so I'm kind of now looking towards the next infusion and I'm starting to get a lot of issues with my legs again but it's really been a really a uphill going got a good, really good outcome from the second infusion so uh, definitely to me the Aquibus is like a, the best disease modifying medication on the market for it's for the relapse and remitting and the primary progressive illness and I've been on several others two different injectables and on uh, a pill form and uh, one of the well two of the injectables they really made it worse and the pill form helped for a long time then made it actually worse and this now the infusion here is really the game changer so for anybody with relapse and remitting or primary progressive MS is thinking about getting on a previous. I know how to get the assistance program. I can send you the links so, and everything uh, and, and give you tips and tricks. So make sure to uh, the, contact uh, Missy Jen if you have any issues about that. <laughs> this week I will be heading out boondocking. I will go back to my favorite boondock place again uh, this week and explore a little bit more. And that, of course, is down at Point Ray Station in uh, in Marin County. I love it. I love the fact that it's near the water. I love the fact it's right on the San Andreas Fault. And there's a lot of things of interest uh, um, down there. It's a nice, friendly place to boondock, and it's a lot of fun, too. So we're going to close. Um, don't forget to check out the uh, Rosie Murphy <laughs> channel. I'm doing daily uploads over there, too. And Jen and Rosie Reality TV. Happy Sunday. I will be doing a um, live stream today. We've got a lot more tomatoes to process here. Oh, we got Lord, another 20 tomatoes. pounds of tomatoes to put into sauce. I'm going to do a live stream hangout with panel if you want. So I will see you guys in a little while. Anyway, we're going to conclude this coffee time Sunday. Thanks so much for being along, everybody. Your thumbs up are appreciated. Thank you for all the warm uh, gmails that you've sent me and comments on videos. Welcoming me back to the YouTube fold. And I will talk about on Rosie Murphy channel. One of the things that makes it great on YouTube for bringing people together in a world that splintered media is forcing apart. Happy Sunday and, to uh, all of you. Also, if you do have MS, you can go on to the Jen and Rosie Reality TV channel and there's a playlist called my journey uh with M uh, with Ocrevis. and there are videos when i received the uh, infusions and i talk in between about my experiences and i will make a video this week on my current status and uh, you can see the videos so check All it right. out there we go thanks for watching everybody